All right, so Dustin's leaving and I'm gonna get a psychic reading. And I wanna go over what they said last time. It's not gonna be the same chick. I tried calling the place and being like, hey, does she still work there? And they're like, mm -hmm, no. And I was like, great. But I found our friend. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> this cat hates me. All right, so let's sit down here. What? Oh my God, you're so amazing. You're so amazing. What? Are you mad because I put you in my last YouTube video without permission? Is that what you're cranky about? Are you like, you didn't talk to my manager first? How come you were ignoring me yesterday and today you want to be my best friend, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. So anyways, last year I wrote down... Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I thought that would make you be quiet, but here you go. I tried to contact the place, like I said. And they're like, yeah, she doesn't work here anymore. So, and of course, I don't know her name or anything. But I kind of remember it starting with a K. And so this place has a woman whose name starts with a K. And she has, like, the same physical features. I don't know if it's her. But she looks kind of like what my memory would be. We might just go with that. You are so cranky. So let's look up what they told me last year. A couple of things actually did come true. It's a little crazy. What's your damage? So, last year, they told me I need to think more positive, which I still don't do. Whoopsies. Being outside is good for me. She said, like, the last year was important, which I don't feel like it was anything extraordinary, but okay. Okay, here's where things were start. She starts it was right. New money and that I would get a job change around February. March is when COVID happened. I got new money from unemployment. And then I had a job change because my job shut down. So that was right. She said question marks around my love life. Typical. <laughs> Caregiving for myself, think positives, and kiss frogs to find my prince. Still haven't found my prince. <laughs> so that's what they said last year. So we'll see. Did you finally settle down, you cranky loud cat? <laughs> All right, I just called and they said they're open. So let's, let's give it a try. Okay, so apparently I did not call that one. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but this is the one that someone told me to come to anyway, so. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. So let's see what's going to happen for you. This year, focus on finances, communication, caregiving. Could be caregiving for self or someone else. But money, pay attention to money. Mm -hmm. Put your money ducks in a row. Don't spend a lot of money, you know, control if you can, at least all the way up until February, then mm -hmm. it should be better. This is a big year for reevaluation and doing a lot of different things. So I'm gonna try to hit all areas of life. Is there anything specific you want me to look at? Um, my love life. <laughs> love, oh love. That's always fun. You will find love and get married. Uh, right now it's kind of difficult or hard, but it seems like as of next year coming around, it could be better. I feel like if you're going to meet them though, you have to be available and out there, but I would wait a little while. I would even wait until after next birthday. Um, you could talk to people, see if you're connecting with anybody, but as far as a serious relationship, it'd be into next year. I don't feel like you're going to go single for a long time. It's on hold or pending because of the timing. And there's a lot of questions around love, especially around what you want. Do you know what you want? I think I do. I see a little bit of anxiety around you. And that can make it kind of hard too. Although, see the rainbow in the corner says you will find love. And you can end up in a long-term relationship with them. But you're not ready to get married yet anyway. you got to focus on other things. Money's one of them. Here's work and work opportunities. What do you do? I'm a hairstylist. Okay. And I'll be honest with you, when you're in a situation where work is the main focus or your job income, that comes before everything else. Before love, before anything. You have a lot of creative stuff around you, so I'm not surprised. There you are. You should kind of start to get busier. It feels like September is kind of a funny month. We get into October, towards the end of October, November, December. It's much better. Health is good, but you have to pay attention to that because you do have a little bit of anxiety around you and you have to watch that because it can go up and down in depression too. Mm -hmm. So you have to stay grounded. That's one of the biggest problems is staying grounded. Do you feel like you're grounded? No. Mm -mm. So I don't either. I would say spending time outdoors. Have you ever done any acupuncture? Like, uh -uh. 
if it's a blockage, it's only because you put it there. Do you have crystals? No, I don't really have any like that. I have like bracelets, but that's about it. So if you have one of those, like wear it. Because I feel like, you know, a lot of it is just about the way you think. What you think about, you bring about. So if you think relationships are never going to go well, or I'm not going to be the right person, or a business isn't going to go well, then guess what? You're creating exactly what you asked for. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to be very careful with your words. But I feel like you're headed in the right direction. You just haven't gotten to where you want to be yet. Mm -hmm. And you have all kinds of possibilities around you. You will be a lot happier next year. That's good. Thank next God. Year. <laughs> but your life always has juggling around it. You know, you're always juggling stuff around. Be patient, though, and don't let it get down, get you down. You just have to keep moving forward. Because I feel like you have success around you. You just haven't gotten there yet. And the person you meet ends up being a nice person, but I feel like they... You have to make sure you're where you want to be when you go looking for this person. If you're not in your best place or your happy place, then you're here. And guess what's here? All the frogs are here. When you raise the vibration up, guess what? The princes are up here. So that's the problem. Because you don't want to bring another person into your life that's not positive for you. Because mm -hmm. I don't feel like you want to take that roller coaster ride. No. <laughs> You've already been on one of those. Yeah. But the new person won't be like that. They do show you movement eventually. Okay. So which could be in another year or so. Here's a doctor. So I will say this about this doctor. So the doctor's saying you're not really sick but you have some issues. So pay attention to them. It'll be a little bit of rough and rocky for another six months with help, with that kind of stuff. But after that, I feel like it, it gets better. It settles down. They figure out why. The worrying though, the anxiety, the depression, that is serious. And so you have to pay attention to that. You have to ground yourself. You have to get out of your head because that's what will make you crazy. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, you should be fine. Money should come in. Relationships will come along eventually. Money's got to be where you want it to be. But you can do it. It's going to not be easy, though. I'll mm -hmm. say that. You don't have it easy in that sense. And you may be reevaluating some ways of making that money next year. It says it's going to not be the easiest road that you decided to take, but it won't be impossible and it will be eventually rewarding. Mm -hmm. So you will get there. I feel like you'll sign another lease. That's mm -hmm. how I feel. And in the store, bring up the vibration. If you can bring in some fresh flowers um, or plants inside, mm -hmm. do you have any inside the store? I have fake ones. I don't have um, any real ones. ones in because it will raise the energy levels and mm -hmm. vibrations so that you start to really feel motivated. Mm -hmm. I don't see you getting out of the industry though. I think that would be a big mistake. If you have your stone jewelry, wear it. Okay. It will help you stay grounded. If you don't, then get some, but it will help. Tourmaline or hematite or onyx or black agate, any of the dark stones. But you'll be okay. Okay. I know you will. I know it. I just want to have money and get married and <laughs> travel. Yeah. yeah, you will get all those things. You will, but you have to get them in the right order. But I'm not doomed to be alone forever. <laughs> no. Only if you decide that. Mm -hmm. No, you're not doomed for that. But, you know, there's a lot of things that have to be in place first because there are distractions. And so if you were to get that now, you'd focus more on a relationship because it's hard to juggle them both, especially where you are in the business part mm -hmm. of things and love it would be new. If you're a strong, solid woman, that's really attractive and that's what they want. Mm -hmm. And you'll find somebody who's like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably nobody you know now. Okay. Thank God. It, it, I, I would say no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No, that would be no. 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 Because I don't think that would be uh, make you happy. Mm -mm. No. So you have to get somebody else. Mm -hmm. And you will be fine. You will. Okay. All right, guys, I got my reading. I actually, it was the same girl. It was the same one. I was like, um, I think you did this. And I didn't even like, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Because I went to the wrong building and everything and I still somehow ended up with her. Um, maybe it was meant to be. <laughs> um, but I recorded it all. Obviously, they let me record here. I guess the place she used to work at, that specific place, doesn't let you record. But this place does. So that was good. Because I got bad memory and I'm also like sleepy. So sometimes I was like zoning out. I was like, Sarah, come back. Hi, baby. I'm going to... Oh, are you going to come say hi to me? Hi. Oh my goodness, hello. You're so friendly today. You just want attention, huh? Yes, you do. All right, let's walk around for a little bit. There's nothing groundbreaking about the reading, which is fine. I feel like my life is kind of at a spot right now where nothing groundbreaking is happening. I don't know, my life's just in a weird spot right now because I'm busy 
and I have a lot going on, but at the same time, nothing's happening, if that makes sense. Like, I have the salon, I'm doing DoorDash, I do YouTube, I try to take care of all the social medias to, like, promote everything. But, like, nothing, I don't expect anything crazy to be happening in my life right now. I'm trying to avoid drama as much as possible. I just thought it was crazy that last year she knew that I would have a job change. Because I remember when she said that, I was like, <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> yeah, sure, totally. And then what freaking happens? I have a job change. So I think Casadega is very calming. I don't think it's creepy at all. Like I don't get weird vibes, but in general, I don't ever have situations like that. Like I don't believe in ghosts. I just don't. I'm one of those people where if I'm gonna believe it, I have to have proof. And I personally have never had something happen to me that would make me believe it. I just always joke, I'm dead inside, like nobody can get to me. <laughs> if ghosts do exist, they just see me and they're like, oh God, get away from her. <laughs> so I wasn't freaked out by Casadega at all. I mean, how could I be scared where there's cats everywhere, okay? I tend to be the type where places that nobody else finds creepy, I find creepy. But places that the majority of people find creepy, I don't think are that creepy. Like I've been to Winchester Mansion, I didn't think it was creepy, but I think Piddick Mansion in Portland is like so sketch. Like there's just something up with that freaking mansion. I don't know how I feel about like afterlife and things like that. Like on one hand, I do believe someone that's passed can send a sign. Like, you know how people say like, when you die, send, send me a butterfly. And then like a week after the person dies, they send a butterfly. I think that's legit. But I don't think that there are just like spirits and ghosts everywhere. Like, I don't think there's any around me. <laughs> I don't feel them or whatever. So I don't know. That's really the only thing I believe in is I believe that there could be signs, I guess. I, I guess I'll put it that way. I believe in signs sometimes, but I don't believe everything is a sign. Like when people say everything happens for a reason, I don't really believe that. But I believe some things happen for a reason, but I don't believe everything happens for a reason. I like go to psychics and stuff out of curiosity or whatever, but like I don't feel anything in the vortex or whatever. I just like, guess I'm just not very like, I'm dead inside. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but I just think it's very peaceful here. This spot especially, if I lived here, I would come and sit on this little bench all day every day. <laughs> But yeah, at this point, I'm really rambling because I'm like half asleep. I kind of want to go to the graveyard again. I wasn't really there for very long and that's the only area I had never really seen before. Should I go to the graveyard? I kind of want to. Let's go. So let's go say bye to Gloria, Gretchen. Let's go say bye to Gretchen. Hey Gretchen, are you mad that I'm leaving? Bye bye. All right, I am back at the graveyard. So over here seems to be where all the, the older ones are. Carl from New York. That's actually very white, like for how old that is. But I am like kind of curious about these like Thatcher people because they all have the ones that have the chairs. All right guys, future Sarah here. Might have gone down the rabbit hole of looking up the Thatchers, um, but it's actually hard to find information. I can't find much, but I did find a little bit. I don't know if this is necessarily 100% true. This is just what I've been coming across. The guy whose name I cannot pronounce, arrested. I've never seen that name before in my life, guys. Okay, don't judge. We're just going to call him Mr. O. So, Mr. O's wife and daughter both died in a fire, and when he built their graves, he put a chair there so that he could look at the graves and mourn them. That is why both of the graves are facing towards the chair, and I guess he just did that every day until he died. Now, that seems like it makes sense, but here's what I don't get. His grave also has a chair. And he's next to his son who died at a very young age. I don't know how his son died. But they are both facing away from the chair. And I'm wondering like, did he put the chair there for his son first and then also add it for his daughter and wife? Or did he put it for the daughter and wife and the son at the same time? Like, so I, ha I can't find any information really on the chair that he's in. So yeah, I'm not sure how his chair got there or whatever but that's supposedly what the story is. Now, as for how it became the devil's chair, it seems like people just kind of started making that up themselves and adding the theories to it. Nowadays, people just see the chair and just kind of go, ooh, must be the devil's chair. So yeah, people just kind of put their own spin on it. And that's how it's known as the devil's chair today. At least that's what the internet tells me. So, <laughs> and you know, everything on the internet you read is true, right? <laughs> Back to the video. So I think these devil chair ones are probably some of the older ones. 
1838. Really? You don't know when this person died? 19 something? Mary, they did you dirty. All right, let's see if the devil drank it yet. Nope. Plot twist, it's because I'm the devil. <laughs> oh my God, if I was Annie right here, I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, you really put me next to a bush? Like, <laughs> there's a bush covering this? When I die, I wanna be buried in the ground. I don't wanna be cremated. I know I'll be dead, but like, being burned does not sound fun. And you know, I've already lived in Florida and California, so I've been burning my whole life. Also, when I die, I'll be pissed if y'all let my gravestone look like that. Uh-uh. You better keep it nice and fancy. I'm honestly really impressed. Unless these are new headstones, which they might be. Like, these are holding up really good. They don't look old. These look so old. At least these won't have the age, so I don't have to do math. I wonder why these ones are... Am I hearing things? Sound like someone's there. I wonder why these ones have like this around it. Oh my god, they're coming out from the dead. <laughs> Wife and mother. Husband and father. Yup. So what's mine gonna say? Single and a cat mom? <laughs> you over here all by yourself in the corner? Dang. No, I wanna be in the center, like on the hill, like where everybody can see me. Oh, I didn't mean to stand on you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. Oh, they did her dirty. Daughter. She doesn't get anything else? Yeah, what do you want to put on a gravestone? Just put daughter. <laughs> we don't care about the rest. If I ever get married, I wonder what my new last name will be. I like my last name, okay? I've thought a lot about, um, well, here's a beer can that's actually drank, but it's open. I've thought a lot about, hold on, this person's name is Spray? Spray Washburn? Stop. What a name. I like my last name, so... My husband better have a good last name, or he better just take my last name. I've been Sarah Harlow, my son of a gun. Here's another Sarah. <laughs> Sarah A, why does everybody have the same name as me? Sarah Ann. But yes, you have the better tombstone. <laughs> this is gonna be me and my husband. I'm gonna be like, all the money's going into mine. Screw you. <laughs> Poor Melvin, but yes, girl. So my middle name is Anne, right? And it seems like every Sarah has the middle name Anne or something. People automatically guess my middle name without even really trying. I'm like, guess it, I'm not gonna give you any hints. And they're like, mm-hmm, Anne. And I'm just like, okay, like we're gonna be like that. So apparently Sarah Anne is like so basic that even in here, all the Sarahs I've seen so far have the middle name Anne. I'm just assuming hers is Anne. It was A, but come on, let's be real. It's Anne. <laughs> Anne or Elizabeth. Those are the middle names for every Sarah. Now this one, I wonder why this one is gated off. Not that this wall is anything hard to climb over, but... Oh, this is Clarkson. I thought this was Thatcher too. Uh-uh. See, this is what would piss me off. You're going to put me under a bush? Hell no. Hey, Sarah. Gone, but not forgotten. Oh my God. This is me, you guys. Asleep in... Oh, in Jesus. Just kidding. <laughs> Asleep. <laughs> That's me. Uh-uh. Why are you so far from your husband, girl? She said, uh-uh, I'm going to be over here by myself. Y'all can piss off. Okay, I'm guessing Clara and Emma. Oh my god, I keep stepping on them. I'm so sorry. For the record, when I'm dead, you can step on me. I really don't care. <laughs> like, you can dance on my grave, whatever. Whatever suits your... So I really don't care. <laughs> I haven't been to a cemetery in a long time. I think the last one I went to was in St. Augustine. Those ones are sad. I don't know, they're just like, they look like death. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Like, some of these headstones are very nice. In Casadega, they all look like the headstone even went through hell. Like, oh my God, someone really put Yoda. Get out of here. But in Casadega, like, the headstones even look like they've been through, like, ten hurricanes, five wars. Like, they just look awful. Speaking of Casadega, I will be going back. I've been there once, and I did not record it last time, but I will be recording this time. Okay, hold on. This is, like, kind of a badass name. T.D. Brogdon. I don't know. That just looks kind of cool to me. Anyways, I'm going to be going to Casadega because for all of October, 
all of the themes of my video are going to be surrounding like Halloween, spooky, all that. So every video this month, Halloween, spooky. So I'm going to be going to St. Augustine at some time because for those of you who do not know, I believe it is like the oldest city or something or like the first it's got a lot of history to it it's a very old city so we will be doing that and i'm gonna do like a ghost tour or something and just kind of look around but that'll be something you guys can look forward to but as for now i am going to be going home uh, i am sweating so bad it's so hot i hope you guys enjoyed this video also shout out to the guy that uh, came up to me and said that he watches my youtube you're the first person to come up to me in person and recognize me so i'm gonna be going home and take like 10 showers because it is just like let me check the humidity, hold on. It says it's 68% humidity. It feels like it's 100. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. New videos every Thursday, and I'm really trying to do Monday as well. And this whole month will be Halloween themes. COVID's probably gonna ruin Halloween, so I'll do it on my own. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on TikTok, please ignore the sweat. <laughs> so follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, all that, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.